welcome to Alter. I'm your host, Nicole Moline. This podcast explores the practice of transformation, of growth, as a dance between hustle and flow, altering, changing, growing, becoming, and altering, offering, surrendering, opening to divine conspiracy. It's the dance of the leader, athlete, creator, entrepreneur, committed not just to optimal expression, but to exceptional being. So here are adventures in sweat and divine conspiracy, awake to all the grit, dirt, and complexity of our world, alert to the graces that come alongside the struggle, the hustle, encouragement, an infusion of courage for the moments you need it most. I'm your host, Nicole Moline. Welcome to Alter. Hi friends, lots to share with you. I'm just back from a road trip through the Southwest, from Santa Fe to Sedona, through the heart of Red Rock Country to lead the Alter Journeys Retreat in Sedona. The retreat was a powerful, beautiful time of connection and vision in the healing and activating vortex of Sedona. I want to share with you the wisdom I'm learning right now from the land. This area is called the Colorado Plateau that stretches from Utah through Arizona and Colorado to New Mexico. It's the land we think of as the Wild West, vast stretches of high desert, wilderness with unimaginable rock formations, high flat buttes, strangely sculpted towers and arches, deep canyons. This is the word I'm landing on, canyoning. How does canyoning feel in you? This poem emerged over the course of this journey. I made a reel of this poem with images from the journey on my Instagram at Nicole Moline. I've linked to it in the show notes. I'd love for you to share in the comments what it stirs in you. Erosion, a meditation. These stone towers sculpted by wind, water, time, that astonish us, arrive at this mythic stance through loss and response, releasing outer layers to the flow of wind or river, a letting go to reveal the enduring core. This soft land, heart land, whispers the eros of erosion, the ways love can canyon us unearth wonders of textures and colors as we take its hand. Why does this epic landscape exist? Because of loss. Because of its unique responsiveness to forces of flow. It allows itself to be shaped and sculpted by what comes through, wind and water. The desert is a place of exposure, few tall trees or tall mountains, land that is more exposed to forceful elements and thus deeply shaped by them. This is an especially responsive land, a land shaped beautifully by loss, by erosion, which has got me thinking with wonder. The word eros, a Greek word for love, is tucked inside the word erosion, which makes me wonder at this question, how are we being shaped by love? In this moment of your life, how are you being shaped by love? How are you opening to love, responding to love, being softened and allowing sharp edges to be smoothed by love? How are you allowing it to flow through you? A landscape shaped beautifully by flow and loss. What a powerful metaphor for where we are globally at this moment. Here we are towards the end of 2022, heading into the holidays, a moment where we want to feel grateful, generous, abundant, reflective, celebratory, and full of hope and powerful vision for a new year. 
but especially given a massive contraction in the global economy and given these past three years of upheaval and uncertainty unprecedented in our lifetimes, we probably feel scared, contracted, smaller than we want to be, exhausted, and maybe depressed or despairing. The last few months I've been working on a podcast series on wealth I'm excited to share with you about how profoundly we get to choose the economy of our lives, regardless of external circumstances. And this image, this experience of canyoning feels like the essential place to begin. If you are in what feels like a moment of emptying right now, a moment of loss, maybe a long season of it, a moment of erosion of your security. Listen, imagine the Grand Canyon in all of its grandeur, expansiveness, color, all the unique minerals and strata and texture found only there. Imagine how it drops down so deep out of nowhere. Imagine your heart as a grand canyon, your bank account, maybe, your foundations of security, the forces running through you, emptying you, carving you out. This is a moment for the dance of hustle and flow. Hustle, your own intentional decisions about what you want to create with your life and with this moment your holy discipline and sweat equity in building your life. And flow, circumstances you're in, the forces external to you, shaping what you're working with. Where do you sense spirit in the emptying forces of your life right now? How are you being invited to grow? What questions or fears have you been avoiding or are you being forced to confront? How is scarcity actually serving you right now, spiritually? How might scarcity be your greatest teacher? See yourself in your scariest loss, being shaped beautifully by it. Both of these experiences can coexist. A loss that is unfair, unjust, unlucky, even devastating on a practical level, can also shape you beautifully. Expose deeply buried colors and precious metals. Your erosion can be your excavation. Your erosion can be your excavation. So let's listen again. And with these images, see what this stirs in you. These stone towers sculpted by wind, water, time that astonish us arrive at this mythic stance through loss and response, releasing outer layers to the flow of wind or river, a letting go to reveal the enduring core. This soft land, heartland, whispers the eros of erosion the ways love can canyon us, unearth wonders of textures and colors as we take its hand. I'm wishing you now in the heart of fall and the edge of economic recession, the sweetest release, the most beautiful canyoning, the most valuable excavation of your core beliefs and inherent wealth. More on that soon. Speaking of excavation, I will be leading a live offering of my course Weighty beginning the Monday after Thanksgiving, November 28th, and doors for registration are now open with course media available to you immediately upon registering at nicolemaline.com slash Weighty, W-E-I-G-H-T-Y. I will be offering a special live session next Monday before Thanksgiving, before the course officially begins the following week to set you up for a mindful sacred approach to the holiday and to how to feast in a way that honors who you are becoming. Weighty is a 28-day mindset and nutrition reset. 
a journey to transform your relationship to weight, energy, and legacy, building practices of nourishment on a foundation of radical love for your body and clarity on your purpose. It includes 28 lush audio meditations, much like the ones that I share in this podcast, for a daily point of focus, five live interactive sessions with me, a meal plan, on-demand altar workouts and videos of my teaching on nutrition, body image, techniques to shift your habits to chosen rituals, and an online community of course participants and tons of resource recommendations. I'm so excited to lead this offering of Weighty 5.0 through the holiday season, which can tend to be a time where we disconnect from our highest intentions and visions, overindulge, and put off our health until the new year. Not us. Instead, let's begin now. Stare down the dragon and forge habits of celebration that also protect and ignite our energy and build a strong bridge of momentum into the new year. I would also love to invite you to join me in the Altar Together membership for electrifying movement practices and meditations. I'll be offering some special sacred holiday practices to infuse this season with magic. Join at nicolemaline.com slash altar. My loves, Cheers to the ways love can canyon us, to our excavation as a door to our evolution, as we alter together.